Hey guys, in this top 100 habits video, we are going to talk about the habit of valuing what is truly valuable. And to be more specific, it's what is priceless. And I will explain that carefully in this video. And as usual, we're going through the same format in these 100 habits videos. And that is, what is the habit? Why is it important? When to do the habit and how to do the habit. So we already know the habit and that is to remember to value what is truly valuable. So the cool thing about this is that these things we're going to talk about in this video is that no matter how much money you have, you cannot just go and buy these things. And yet these things are for free for everybody who is willing to have discipline and basically just pay attention to what you're doing in your life. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but let's get specific here. So the things we're talking about are things such as your mindset and your skill sets and your body health and fitness level and also of course family and friends and your social circles also things such as just spending time in nature we'll talk more about that later but actually the main thing we're going to talk about is mindset and if it hasn't become obvious to you already i think these things are really important because they are some of the most valuable things in life but they have to be cultivated and not purchased okay and i'll guarantee you that if you ask any billionaire on the planet, no, that's probably not true, <laughs> not any, but a lot of them, if you ask them what they value the most in life, these things I think would be very high on the list. So now let's talk about some of the subcategories of mindset. One of them that is very clear that is a good example of why money cannot buy mindset is what I call skill sets. So for example, the ability to speak a language, no matter how much money you have, you cannot just like pay an amount and then whoopty, then you can speak a new language or learn how to ride a motorcycle really well and win races. Those skills have to be cultivated. The same thing goes for the body. No matter how rich you are, you cannot just say, hey, I'll give a billion dollars and then whoopty, I'll have a super healthy fit body that is going to last for a long time and perform really well. And actually the health state of your body also affects your mind state because of the biochemistry that's associated with the different mind states as you've probably heard about um, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin and so on and so forth. The next one is almost a cliche. I think everybody knows that good friends that you can trust and have fun with is something really important. Like whenever you have a good time, usually it's more fun if you share it with friends. Of course, there are people that are introverts and they need to have a different balance of social life and privacy than others. But I think everybody appreciates good friends and good family. It's like one of the most basic things in life. Like humans are social species and we grew up in tribes during thousands of years or not grew up, but I should say evolved in tribes. And that brings me to the last one, which is time in nature. Spending time in nature has been proven to have real health benefits both mentally and physically. Spending time in beautiful nature is free. It doesn't cost anything. But if you're located in a city that has a diameter of 20 kilometers, well, then you need to spend a lot of time going through traffic to get to the beautiful nature. There's a lot of human qualities you can put into the category of mindset. We already talked about skill sets such as language or athletic skills, business skills, life skills, professional skills, and so on. But there's even more important things that fall into the category of mindset. And that is life perspective, the lens of which you view life. Life has a lot to offer and a lot of beauty and a lot of good things in life, a lot of good people. Even though, especially these days, it has is, is become clear that a lot of the things that are going on are not exactly motivated by uh, noble people, you could say, which has cost everybody um, quite dearly, but that's another story, maybe for another video. Uh, so life perspective is definitely an important thing you should cultivate in mindset. And I'm going to talk shortly about how to do it. The next thing that is a really important aspect of mindset is not only how you view the world, but also how you view yourself in the world. I recommend everybody to at least have a belief in yourself that you can do anything that you really put your mind to. Or another way of thinking about it is that if someone else can do something, then you can learn to do it too. That's something I think everybody should strive for regarding mindset. 
Also clarity of goals, what you want in life. It's also a good quality to be good at clarifying things for yourself. Another thing that's a bit cliche, but that is passion. Passion is basically just a different word for loving things in life, loving things to do such as hobbies or music or art. Anything that's out there in the world that you love just for what it is, well, that's passion, basically. If you have a natural interest, strong interest in something, and you can feel that when you work with this subject, you get energy from it, and it's a good energy. I think that's a good way of describing passion. I feel like that, for example, with fitness and motorcycle racing, which I've competed in just for fun. So that's my passions, or some of my passions, I should say. Now we've talked a lot about what and why these values are in life and how I do it, as you may already know, is I journal in the morning with my coffee. So every time I have my coffee first thing in the morning, I open a book with a blank page and then I start writing about all the things that I think is good in life, things that I'm thankful for, things that I am excited about, looking forward to in the future, things I want to achieve things that I'm thankful for that I already have and sometimes also things in the past that I'm thankful for that I already did or achieved. So both focus on what you have and what you did in the past but also where you're heading in the future. So journaling is basically a way of practicing cultivating your mindset and your life view, life perspective and gratitude for what you have. And then of course you need to Go to the gym or do some sports. Eat healthy. That's also how you cultivate these values. Is treat your body with respect. You only get one body in your life. That's how things currently work in the world. I'm sure there are people working on changing that. But that's also another story for another video. Another way you can cultivate these values in terms of social circles is of course spend time with your family and friends or call your family and friends and keep in contact with those who are important to you. And lastly, spend some time in nature. Have it as a routine, at least weekly, to go and see some beautiful nature or go for a walk every day is uh, something many people benefit from. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a bit longer, a bit different than my usual habits videos, but I think it's really important that everybody, instead of chasing only monetary goals in life, it's important to know that real value is not measured in money but other currencies as well which we talked about in this video things that cannot be purchased for money give it a like if you like the video make sure you subscribe for the next 100 habits that i'm going to share on my channel and check out in the description for more stuff that i spend my time on or share the video with a friend in any case thank you for watching and see you on the next one if you want to learn more tools and techniques and habits that can improve your life quality and performance and well-being overall subscribe to my youtube channel and if you like tropical island holidays visit fitcamp5.com for my two-time trip advisor award-winning training camp where we train fitness and action sports together while learning to live a healthy lifestyle and maybe most importantly have fun at the same time and if you're really serious about improving yourself, you should definitely check out my full online courses where I share step-by-step -step programs on how I developed my own routines over the last 12 years as a CEO working in four different countries, while being a successful competitive athlete with more than 20 years of experience in fitness and nutrition. Check the link in the description for that. And in any case, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Be awesome. Believe in yourself. And see you on the next one.